Dave, a lot of people are excited about this Indiana team. You've had a chance now to watch them today. Your first impressions of this team? Impressive, Jeremy. I mean, I think, first of all, offensively, there's no reason to think they won't be better than last year with everyone that's back, with a ton of experience, guys who are familiar with the system. I mean, I think it takes time for that to settle in. We saw last year some glimpses of that. So, I mean, I think offensively this is a team that's going to be able to hang with anyone. The questions clearly are on the defensive side of the ball. It's unclear whether some of those have been answered. I think it's hard to tell this early in practice, but some young guys who can really run, I mean, there are some signs that that's going to turn around too. Looking at this Indiana team, there seems to be a different vibe around the team with the coaching staff really settling into this Indiana situation. Seems to be pretty positive out here. Yeah, I get the same impression. I mean, it does seem like it's, they're not, no one's battling with one another anymore. And I think that's normal in coaching transitions as you're kind of trying to figure everything out and you got players who are unfamiliar with the coaches. and. You know, now everyone seems to be on the same page. I, I know Jerry and Howard kind of said that that stood out to them even in the spring. I wasn't here in the spring, so this is the first time that's become, become that readily apparent to me that, yeah, I mean, I think that page has been turned and everyone knows where they're going. I, I think Kevin's been really clear on, hey, here's who we want to be. You know, we want to be a dynamic offensive team starting with the quarterback. We want to be a team that can outscore people. But I think everyone knows kind of where it's headed now, and, and that's important to have everyone playing you know, to that same message. A lot of times when a team is trying to determine amongst three quarterbacks who to play, it's because they don't have one that can play. But this is a team that has three Big Ten level quarterbacks. Very interesting. And I think that's been the most illuminating thing for me here today. I knew they were all good. I, I think I came in thinking that Nate Sudfeld was kind of an obvious number three just because if you redshirt him, you can separate everyone's classes out. You have two experienced starters in Roberson and Kaufman. But I think Sudfeld's very much in that mix as well. I mean, I think it's a very clear three-man race. And I don't know, I mean, look, this is what camp's for, right? We'll find out in a couple of weeks.